Hi folks and welcome along to another Sonic Academy Get That Sound. Um, just myself today, Chris is uh, off doing a course, so I'll be taking you through this on my own. So um, this is a quick uh, Get That Sound based on Nero's amazing new track. So we're going to try and get uh, close to this with the drums and the bass. Um, so we'll start off with throwing a kick in. Um, go to my drums. And we'll head for the drum and bass sort of kicks initially. Get our tempo up to one, two, four. So I think it's maybe a bit aggressive this, but we'll give it a go with this one. Just gonna tune our length. Tuning the length there just to sort of bring some of the phasing from the click back into line. And then we'll add a drum rack. Um, so we're going to use some samples from our dubstep pack. Um, some nice snares down at the bottom. So we're not going to get the drums exact. I'm sure they're. We'll give you a sort of get you in the ballpark anyway. And then we want to sort of. Uh, pre-snare, there's a nice sort of disco-y kind of snare in here somewhere. Yeah, so that there is what I'm looking for. Add a bit of body and we can do a bit of pre-clap. On the original track, there's a bit more pre-clap on the second than there is on the first. And then we're going to add, um, there's like a reverby clap. Um, so we'll go into our claps. Sort of quite a schwacky sound of the clap, so we can get that in as well. Bit of pre on that as well, just to sort of give that nice slushiness. So we're going to grip these two together and we want to just add a bit of reverb. We want to sort of, we're going to use, we're going to really heavily process this grip and then we'll, it'll probably um, mess up our kick a bit. So we'll probably add another kick after, but uh, we want to sort of get these drums really aggressive. Um, so use a bit of compression and then we'll stick reverb on. And I will bring that down. I'll actually put a limiter over the output just so we don't go over too much. So 
you can hear there, we're really bringing out the transients. Really bringing out those sort of attacky elements, and um, maybe even a wee bit more. And that clap sounding a bit heavy, so we can go in and add a bit of a high pass on here. And the other thing I want to do is add some reverb in. And if you've been following any of our tutorials recently, you'll know that I've um, been using Valhalla Room a lot for drums. And I'm going to stick it on as an insert. And the reason being is that I want... Um, I'm going to use the medium gate. I want the uh, effects that we're putting on. I'm going to put a bit of overdrive and various things on. We want them to affect the reverb. <laughs> You have to adjust your um, mix. Um, if it's on an insert, if it's on a send, then your mix should be up full. So, it's quite a lot there. And then we'll probably use a bit of overdrive as well, just to make it all a bit more aggressive. That's sounded decent enough there. As you can hear, we're sort of losing the, the kick. Um, so we can duplicate the kick out and take it out of the group. Um, and you can hear that the uh, click is phasing a bit. So we can take off the click from our uh, kick that we just um, separated out. We'll take off some of the attacks as well. Just really looking for that sort of subby part. And then another element of the um, track is they've got some sort of like crashes and rides just to sort of give that momentum in the track. Um, so let's find some crashes. in our hats. So we'll throw a couple of crashes in. And these are sort of on the downbeat and we want to just have them going all the way through. And then there's another crash on the uh, second snare. So we'll go into our moon and post to see what ones we got in here. So that should do. Sorry, we just need to go into our drum rack. And this also has a sort of delay f vibe on it. It's got a sort of ping pong type delay. So we'll do a bit of EQing now on this. Um, um, EQ it should do. That 
uh, splashy crash is just a bit too much, I think. I want to actually make that this a bit subbier, so. Track is in G, so maybe try and get it down to G for the. I'll probably be able to phase a tiny bit. That's not bad there. Just gonna bring down those crashes again. They're still pretty much in your face too much. And I'll maybe just bring down the mix on the reverb. So not totally perfect, but it's in the sort of ballpark we're after. Okay, so that'll do it for the drums. In the next video, we're gonna take a look at doing the bass.